Welcome to Market Update Monday. Are you feeling that interest rates are too high right now? Well, I have a couple of strategies for you. If you look on this chart, it shows you that at a $350,000 average purchase price, which is what we have up here in New England, um, your principal interest, taxes, insurance, and PMI, because you're putting only 5% down, equals $2,029 a month. That would have been at last year's interest rate of 2.9%. This year, rates have gone up to 6.11% right now, and obviously that depends on your credit score, okay? But that same loan of 350 with 5% down, principal, interest, taxes, insurance, and PMI is gonna cost 26.63. So that's about 31% higher. So if you can't afford that extra 600 a month, You'll have to reduce your purchasing power by $75,000, unfortunately, if $2,000 and change is your number, your target number. So what do you do? Okay, we have a couple options for you. One of my lenders is offering a temporary rate buy-down, which means you're going to get qualified for your loan. The seller would need to pay for this, or you could do it through a closing cost concession. It's only for a short term, though. So they're hoping that interest rates will come back down, you get a temporary buy down of the rate to a lower rate that gets you to qualify. Another option that my client just did, if you're expecting rates to go down, which they may, you could choose an adjustable rate mortgage. So he got a 5-5 adjustable rate mortgage, which means his interest is fixed for the next five years. And he got a 4.875% rate. I mean, that could totally increase your purchasing power. Last strategy is to buy out your PMI. So the PMI is about 1% of your loan value. So the monthly payment example I have here, the PMI is 241 a month. The difference between the two scenarios was 600. So you would get a lot more purchasing power with that extra $240 a month. The only other way you can get rid of your PMI is to put 20% down. So 20% down on a $350,000 loan is $70,000. Most people don't have that much money, but what if you had some extra money? And let's say the PMI buy down is only 28,000. That's a huge difference from 70. Talk to your lender about the exact figures that would work for you, but know that this is a possibility and something worth exploring. Want specific market info for your area? Click below to get your own market update report.